Today we're going to be reviewing this desert truck slash crawler. The Fire U Eagle 3 kit without all the electronics. If you're like me and you're already in a hobby for a little while, you already got a good radio. And you like the VO Toys 1248 that looks like the twin hammer. And you want to convert that to brushes for bashing it around. Then you can just buy this kit and save you a whole bunch of money and have a better platform because it comes with a metal front diff and a metal rear diff. And all the metal upgrade parts fit without any modifications. So this kit is a little bit better than the real Toys 1248 if you're already in a hobby and got a good radio and want to convert to brushless. So let's get, go into the car and show you what you get with the kit. Well, it's pretty obvious, the truck of course. Assembled for 80% and you get 5 really nice rubbery tires inserted with foam. They're just not airtight. I have to modify that. Instead of fake lights that you easily can convert to make it look like real lights because you can open them up and customize them. Pretty nice, but they're probably gonna break the first time you're gonna crash and roll over. I got one bag that comes with spare parts and two pinions, all different sizes. So actually you get four pinions in total. But these are for meant for the brushless motor, two mil shaft I think. And the one is 22 me teeth, 24 teeth, and the other one is 26. And you get two hex keys and another key for your nuts for the wheels. And a few body pins, clips. And the second bag that comes with this is a third pinion for the brush for the brush motor. And you get a servo arm, a servo extension arm with a control rod. And a few extra nuts and bolts and screws for the body and the lights and the back tire on the back. And with the kit, and there also comes a four pinion, and this is for your brushless motor. It comes with a 2.3 and a 3.2 millimeter shaft insert. So it fits the biggest shaft, and I think it's about 26 teeth. The kit also comes with a Chinese and English manual. Showing you all the car parts in great detail, like the front and the back rear diff, but it goes over the whole car. I'm pretty surprised and I'm really liking this manual. So, thumbs up for that. Let's go over the car and start with the body. And as the body, I really like it. It looks cool, it's very detailed, it's black, and the plastic, it bends. But it doesn't bend as much as the real toys 12 foot to eight. Comes with a yeah. I don't really like the interior. It's nice and shiny, but it's it's really fake. I do like the head. The helmet is pretty nice and pretty scale. So we're gonna probably remove that and use it in a different project. Then the body is being held on with four screws, two in the front and this two in the back. So let's open it up and have a peek inside, going over the good and the bad parts of this little car. And now a quick overview of the things that we like about this car and the things that we don't like about the car. Of course we really like the front and rear metal diff gears and the slip clutch. That's a good improvement over the real toys 12428. But we don't like is the half plastic metal CVDs rear shaft and middle shaft. Of course they are all upgradable. And we also don't like, the, of course, the air-filled shocks, and we wish we had more metal parts at the front and adjustable steering. But that's pretty much it. I do like the much travel we have. There's a lot of space. I like the way it looks. And there are a lot of spare parts and upgrade parts. Well, it's not a true hobby-grade car. It's a medium slash half, because there are a lot of parts, and, and they will be here for a while, I think. But they can stop any day, and you don't know how many there are, so get them while you can. And make sure you have the most important spare parts, like an extra diff, spare diff, CVDs, the differential, the whole drivetrain, and a few arms perhaps. And that's it for the FireU Eagle 3 kit review. I really hope you're liking this video, and I hope the next video will be the build video of course. Well, I hope you don't forget to like and subscribe for the next weekly video that's coming out. 
and then also I have a look at my playlist related to this Fire Eagle Desert Eagle truck showing you a lot of the modifications that are out on YouTube just to help you out I hope you're helping me out and give it a thumbs up and if you don't like it then give it a thumbs down for now goodbye